Now, now you talk about research, and uh, you, you know, we all kind of know, or and maybe people don't know or don't know, but you know, there's about a three-year lag between when we know something in research and um, you know when it's actually published. And I'm not asking you to disclose any any secrets here or anything like that. But are there things you're finding that are kind of up and coming that you're, you you really say, wow, we we're, we're surprised at this, or that's the, the so there's a an amazing thing that just came up um, that on the movement assessment, if there's some asymmetries, it shows um, different contact times on the ground, um, and then that's actually been related to how efficiently they run. And so um, we're talking about milliseconds on the ground uh, related directly to a movement asymmetry that nice. we can identify um, in the lab that at the slow motion, like we were just talking about. And and I think that that's going to change the needle for us is that if we can identify things that are uh, not only injury potential, um, but the potential for improvement of performance, um, that's going to change how we approach athletes, um, I, I think, dramatically. We're, we're going to look at them at the slow movement and make sure that everything is perfect side to side because if we can do it with these gross movements that we're looking at and, and identify these small little changes, I think you're going to see big changes in the way they can run and the way they perform, especially for uh, a sport like track and field where they do the same movement all the time. And I think that that's where um, track and field is unique is it, um, it's the basic is all running. Even mm -hmm. our throwers run and our jumpers run. Right. Um, and then that leads to other sports. Basketball players run. Sure. Our golfers run for fitness and our IndyCar drivers run for fitness. And, and if they're running inefficiently, um, they're compensating around that. And I think that that is all going to lead to moving that needle to being able to make athletes perform at a higher level, you know, and reduce their injury risk. Well, so that's, that's a really cool good stuff. point. You know, the, the idea that, that, you know, regardless of the sport, almost, that, uh, you know, we're doing some sort of repetitive symmetrical activity to train. Right. You know, even if we're we're do, we're an asymmetrical sport, or we're a collision sport, or a contact sport, at some point in time, we're we're doing some sort of cardiovascular training that that is that is very repetitive and and very symmetrical. That's yeah. a great point. Fantastic. Fantastic.